Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? So, this is a brief explanation how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to Windows and play uh, emulators, whatever you want, like PlayStation 3, Dolphin emulator, PlayStation 2. As you can see, this is connected uh, via Bluetooth in the Huawei uh, MateBook D. Now, this is the Ryzen 5. I'm going to try test the PlayStation 2. Let's see the input lag. Okay, we can see that is a split second, maybe. Maybe uh, it's very, very small lag, man. That means the Bluetooth is very, very nice here in this laptop. The connection is very excellent. But as you can see, it's not, you're not gonna play online games anyways. You're gonna play like uh, retro games. So let's even look at, uh, I mean, listen to the speakers. But anyways, Let's just start uh, before I just go and uh, continue playing the game. I'll, I'll explain to you how do you actually check the controller configuration. So once you go here in the PS uh, section, all you have to do is just go to configure and go to controllers plug in setting and then you're gonna see all these options just click on pad 1 once you click on pad 1 you'll see L1, R1, R2, L2, up, right, etc. click in each single item here for example if you click on L1 once you click on L1 you have to click L1 on the controller so it register this information inside this application so you can play the PlayStation 2 or 3 or whatever. Uh, once you finish, click on apply, OK, then you're good to go. So this is how uh, explanation to connect to your PlayStation 2 controller. Of course, you have to connect it through Bluetooth first. Before you do this step, you go to uh, Windows, Bluetooth, wireless. As you can see here, let me just zoom in, wireless controller connected here as you can see now I'm zooming through the uh, mate 20x so so you can see how it actually functions here uh, all right so let's start playing the game pretty simple right let's go and see how it functions That's really nice. Let's rock, baby. All right. Okay. Look at this. Looks looks really nice smooth no issues at all when it comes to the uh, disconnection at the same time the battery here says that you can it's 50 percent and you can play for four hours so that's eight hours so that means it doesn't stress a lot so let's look at the PC manager here see how much the CPU is consuming the CPU consuming around 15% while the game is running. Guys, 16%, that's really nice. I mean, that's very, very uh, budget friendly. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you like it, please like and subscribe and share. See you guys later.